All right, guys, here we are with the Chuck Norris add-on meal here, and it's packing a few calories, to be quite honest with you. I like to lay everything out first to kind of see what's in front of me. The old provolone, I like to kind of peel that away, get things rolling. Throwing some knobs of butter into my cast iron. You can uh, actually, some people do mayonnaise on their actual grilled cheesers, but the main thing is I, I like to season the pan first. Um, before I put them in there, just to get a little, nice little bit of salt on the outside of that brioche from Patisserie 46. It's just going to get a little bit toasty. And what I mean by mayonnaise is that people literally spread mayonnaise on there and then just, like, toast it with mayonnaise. So um, that cheese, try to do about half the cheese because we're going to make two more grilled cheesers after this. Um, that's just a sharp cheddar. Flipping the tops on top of there, we're just going to stack them onto our board and reserve it. And then we're just going to wipe out our cast iron, which is a little bit of a... See fold there, a little napkin, and then we're just going to go right back into the butter and do the same process over again. And uh, we're not actually trying to make sure the cheese melts. We're just getting toastiness because we're going to pop it in the oven later. Um, so make the main goal, making it nice and toasty on top and on bottom so that you have uh, a, good, a good bun. We're making the bun. Uh, the next step here is the, uh, the tips of the tenderloin. So they're in big pieces, so we're going to cut them up. And the reason we cut them up is so that you aren't pulling big chunks out of the sandwich. And as you can see right now, I'm uh, looking at the juices that are in there from that wonderful seasoning we put on there in sous vide. They're sous vide to about a medium, a mid-rare medium. Pour those juices right on into your jus if you'd like. I'm just showing you what I would do. You can throw them away if you want. But it makes it just more, more flavorful, more beefy. Um, throw a little canola oil into the pan on high heat. We're not looking to cook this meat right now. We're not looking to, like... Um, take it any further than medium. We're just looking to get a nice sear on it to get some nice caramelization and flavor. And uh, even though it is seasoned in sous vide, throw some salt on there just to kind of bump up the sol solidity of these little bites. Um, we seasoned it, but we didn't fully season it. We just got a nice flavor throughout. Um, so just throw a little sprinkle of salt on there and uh, get a nice caramelization on there. And that's, that's what we're trying to do right now. We're just going to work it and then uh, move it around a bit. And once you see those little brown pieces there you might still have some red showing you uh go ahead and turn that turn that off and um start to reserve um your meats because you don't want to overcook it all right put your au jus into a pot and then uh set up a drain tray with some uh, napkins so you can drain your meat now the reason we do this is so that we don't actually soak out the sandwich all right it's a trick of the trade there so let it just chill out for just a second a couple of minutes and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull our um our grilled uh, onions and we're going to cut those just a couple of times as well just so you're not pulling onion uh, strands out of your sandwich when you take a bite um, so this is going to be a pretty high piled sandwich is what i would call it and there's a method that i use it's called the uh, the grab and cone you're going to make like a snow cone on top of the sandwich and it would topple over but um, the next ingredient that we add here is our blanket of truth it's actually going to be the provolone cheese which melts really well, but also sticks together. And it's going to uh, be a nice little holder blanket on top of there. All right, so once the au is up, just go ahead and turn it off. You don't want to reduce that. It's got a nice seasoning already. The more you reduce it, it's going to get kind of salty. Um, go ahead and load up your tray with your JoJo's and your um, uh, grilled cheese. And uh, after making this video, I would put those JoJo's in first thing. Just pop them in the oven. Get them cooking. They're going to take about 25 minutes to be really good. You want them really crispy. So um, I put them in there. It's about 375, 400 even. Um, and uh, as I pull it out, I check my JoJo's. Um, it's convection oven. I'm like, yep, those aren't done yet. And I'm going to let those go another 10 minutes or so. But, um, yeah, the more time you give those JoJo's in there, the better. The more crispy they'll be and the better cooked they'll be. But uh, just go ahead and take your uh, first grilled cheese and top the top of your sandwich there set it aside and go ahead and cut it i like to cut triangles with sandwiches like these it makes it easier to get your lips around it um but yeah there you have it look at that little medium pieces of meat in there all still juicy and wonderful chuck norris would be proud um there is no chuck norris cameo in this video he was supposed to show up but he never did uh we have uh, the au jus going into a little dipper for you guys to share or you can put it on two little ramekins if you want jojo's are done and we're serving it with the green goddess dip and that dip is actually kind of nice for the sandwiches if you want rocky road coming from alex and the pastry team it is one of the most delicious desserts i've had and if you haven't had a heart attack yet that'll definitely finish you off so 
Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next week. Enjoy the Chuck Norris. Waking up on your own. Oh, how could you leave?